how to apply a leap hardness test and why this technology is also known as rebound method, that and more you will find out now. I'm Thorsten and I'm a specialist for mobile hardness testing. The method was invented by the scientist Dietmar Leib in 1975 and is a dynamic method. In addition to the classical hardness testing methods Vickers, Brunel and Rockwell, the Leib technology is the world's best known mobile hardness testing technology together with the UCI technology. The range of applications for the Leib technology is designed for bulky workpieces with thicker wall sections. For this purpose, there are various impact devices that work with different impact bodies or different impact energies. Leap hardness testers are mainly used with metallic materials. However, since this technology is not directly related to the workpiece material, you can also use it for concrete testing, for example. If you want to know more about this technology, please refer to the ISO standard 16859 or to the ASTM A956. The operating principle of the Leib rebound method is to accelerate an impact body with a defined energy against the surface of the material to be measured. The impact body is equipped with a tungsten carbide ball on the front end and in the center with an integrated permanent magnet. The impact energy is generated by a spring system located in the shaft of the impactor. The impact of the carbide ball causes a deformation of the surface which leads to a loss of acceleration energy. This energy loss is determined by a velocity measurement. The measurement is performed by means of a coil. The coil is located at the lower end of the impact device. The measurement is initiated by the integrated magnet in the impactor which first dips into the coil with a defined pole and then dips back through the coil after impact. The measurement itself therefore takes place shortly before and shortly after the drop of the impactor. In other words, without reference to the actual test piece. The hardness value in the Leib scale is then calculated from these two values. Let's take a look in practice. We have our Sonodo 3 device for displaying and receiving the data from our probe. And we have a little lay probe here, a HLD probe, and a hardness block with a value of 634 HLD, means we should measure according to that value. So what we have to do now is we have to connect that little device with the Sonodo 3 uh, via Bluetooth. So I'll start the connection by pressing this button and I'll open my Leib app. So the device says it's connected right now and we can straight away start making the measurements. So I'll preload this device in the air, put it straight onto uh, the surface and then start the measurement by pushing uh, that button. So I can redo that measurement. And you can see we have stable values. The device is okay. And that's very easy to measure by leap. If you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you, please give us thumbs up. And uh, if you like, please uh, subscribe to our channel 